Okay, there's the up air, just hovering in place. I'm doing a time test without the gimbal attached. It's kind of a brisk wind out too. I'd say about 10 to 12 knots, maybe 15 knot gusts. There we go, four minutes and 54 seconds. So five minutes hover time. Okay, it's still up there. We're going on 14, get the time in there, 14 minutes and just about 15 minutes now. Uh, last time I looked at it, we were at about, um, it was blinking on the first light and had three, or it's blinking on the second light and we had uh, two lights yet to go. So I'll go ahead and bring it down and see what uh, it's at. Since I don't have the uh, uh, monitor on it now, I don't really have any idea where the voltage is, although I'm pretty confident that if I uh, run out, I'll get the return to home signal and it'll try to land right in front of me. It's still there. Last time I brought it in, which is about five minutes ago, it only had one light showing, so I expected it to return home before now, but we'll see how long it goes. So I took it down a bit because I was worried about it running out of battery in the air. Uh, now it's about 10 feet out there. We're at 23.56 now, or 24 minutes, that this up air has been flying. Now again, I don't have the gimbal on it, but uh, let's see. Oh, there's the return to home now. So at 24.12. So I overrode the return to home. It's at 25.07 right now. And I still have control on it. I can go up and down. Well, that will be that. Okay, officially that was 25 minutes, 23 seconds, and 24, 23.24 seconds. Um, and it dropped out of the sky. I'm glad I lowered it down to about six feet. Uh, very interesting. Again, this is without the uh, camera gimbal on. So I've got some issues with my camera gimbal. So it was flying naked. and uh, uh, But it did pretty well for an up air.